Hey guys, Technical Control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you some of the settings that you need to change right now on iOS 17 if you update it to iOS 17. Some of the settings we're going to show you, we're going to explain to you why you might consider changing it and if you do change it, why it might be beneficial or not. But let's dive right into it. So as you know, iOS 17 was just released and if you have iPhone SE second generation or later, you can go into your settings of your iPhone, go to general, software update and you can update to iOS 17 and once you update to it you'll have a bunch of features available but the first one that I want to show you is this ability to now lock your private browsing session so if you go into your Safari right and you know if you click on it and go to private browsing as you can see here it's open right now but you can actually go ahead and lock this so we'll go into this one and then hop over to our settings here and then once we go into our settings under Safari, so we'll go for Safari, there's a setting, if you go all the way down here, which says require face ID, or if you have iPhone SE, it'll be touch ID to unlock private browsing. So now this time, if I go back to Safari, and I go to my private one, as you can see here, it's doing a face ID verification before you can view it. So if I went back over here, and this time I'm gonna try to cover the face ID, and as you can see here, it says private browsing is locked. So you'll need to try Face ID in order to show that. Pretty cool, but you want to enable that if you really want to keep your privacy. Now, the next thing you want to check out in your settings here is going to be in your actual phones here, setting up your password. So if you have set up passwords, right, what happens is a lot of times we get a lot of verification code for a lot of applications and tools that you use on your phone and over time you might get a lot of those and you might want to be able to clean it up. Well, Apple has now give you the password option to be able to clean up any verification codes in your messages and mail after you did an autofill. So if you enable this feature just like that, it will do the cleanup process so you don't have to delete it. Most people will go ahead and delete it manually, but this process makes it a nice easy cleanup job and something you should check out in your phone. Now the next setting that you want to go ahead and check it out it's going to be this new feature which is really exciting I think it's going to be the standby mode which we talked about in another previous video basically when you put your phone like this it will be on preview when it's plugged in and locked on it. Now this feature you can have notification to show or you don't so this is going to be critical because if you don't want notification to show you might want to turn that on by default I would leave it as is and then play around with it but if you don't want this at all because you want to save a little bit of battery you can completely turn it off just like that again personal preference I usually keep it on but again something you might want to consider on your new iOS 17 iPhone now the next setting you want to go ahead and check out on your settings here it's going to be if you go into the general here there's two different updates that happen with air uh, airdrop so if you go into airdrop now there's an option where now if you bring a device close to your iphone right or that has ios 17 as well it will connect to it so you can do airdrop so it'll pick it up so sometimes you might have to play with this a little bit let's see if we can get it as you can see here airdrop or sharing will happen if you have the sharing on but basically this setting if I put it together it will pick that up and you will see here that could sometimes be you have to be very close but sometimes it could be quite annoying in that case if you don't want that feature you can turn it off so you don't have that ability to for someone to do sharing of their photos but again a setting to take a look at if you want this or not now the next thing you want to look at is AirPlay has added a new feature which again uses pretty much AI to be able to connect to device and AirPlay automatically and it's set up by default so if you went somewhere previously connected to a device if you're nearby it it might automatically play videos music whatever it is and that could sometimes be a little risky if you know what I mean so what I recommend is setting it to ask so that before it does automatically play you at least have control over it so really important or you can do it never and you can manually do it every single time but something to look at instead of using automatic and automatic might be good so some people really want that smooth transition and you can pretty much pick your setting that you like 
Now, the next setting I want to show you is in Apple Music. So in settings here, if you go into the Music app, if you use the Apple Music app, there's a new feature Apple has developed, which you can now, if you're using Apple Music, which we will be able to show you is this crossfade one, which again, is unavailable while using AirPlay, but basically what this setting does is that whenever a song is ending, it will transition to the next song so that you have a smooth transition going on instead of having those awkward, maybe couple minutes between the songs where it's dead silent and really helps, especially if you are on the beat that you're trying to listen. So it'll just transition over can play around with how many seconds you want that transition happen by default it says four seconds but you can go all the way up to 12 seconds so 12 seconds before a song ends it will move on to another song or whatever amount you set it to here so another cool setting to play around with but i'll let you guys decide on that now next setting you want to play around with it on ios 17 it's going to be in your settings here accessibility and touch and then once you go into touch it's haptic touch so haptic touch before had just one setting which is the default one to be able to select a photo now you can actually slow down that haptic touch so as you can see it's slower or you can have it faster so if you want to speed up your phone this is the setting that you want to do so you can feel like your phone is much faster or you can keep it as default which again was previously the option so go ahead and check that out as well now the next setting I want to show you it's going to be another privacy setting that's going to be really important and I think it's definitely a good step forward in privacy is that if you go into your settings here go to privacy here and go all the way down here there is now a sensitive content warning option and if you turn this on as you can see here it will detect any nudity in photos, videos before you can view it on your phone, which is really helpful if you want to keep your phone safe, especially if you share things with friends and family. You don't want accidental content to show up. You want to turn this on and it shows you some of the services or access that will do that content warning on. So you can either turn these services on and off if you want that content. Uh, warning on or not but again up to you I think it will definitely help in terms of blurring things out so that if you want to view it you have to click on it so you don't accidentally see something you don't want to see then the next setting I want to show you that's going to be really cool if you haven't checked this out is that if you go into your contact now there is now these contact poster for you so these contact photo which again is really unique you can click on this edit button and then click on it and customize this so when you call someone they will see your card here and you can create multiple ones switch between them pick characters use your personalized photo but you get the idea here which if you want to go ahead and check it out we made a video on this detailing how you can customize it and lastly one of this new feature that you might want to check out it's not turned on by default but if you go into your settings of your phone and go into screen time if you're using screen time is this ability to now have a screen distance to help protect your eye strain if you do turn this on as you can see here it will alert you when the screen is too close and you'll be able to as you can see have the distance of 12 inches so it can monitor between your face and the screen distance to help you protect your eyes which again would be really good to have and something to check out. So those are all the settings on iOS 17 that I think you should go ahead and check out and change whatever preference you like. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.